Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fun animal print type pattern in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start off by creating a new document. So I'm going to go to new file. I'm going to use the dimensions of 7200 pixels by 7200 pixels. Set my resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Background content is transparent. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on create. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out command or control with the minus key. And then let's turn our pattern preview mode on. So I'm going to go to view pattern preview. And then I'm just going to access the brush tool here. We got B here is the keyboard shortcut. And then just using my right or left bracket key, right key will make it bigger. Left will make it smaller. You can determine the size of your brush here. Currently, I have my foreground color set to black, and then I am just going to start drawing. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, and then I'm just going to create some just shapes here, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit more so I can see it, and then we can fill it in here if you want. And then just using this pattern preview tool, it makes it really easy to kind of see how your pattern is progressing. And then just continue to draw just some abstract shapes here. To get that spotted effect of our pattern. Gonna undo that one, Command Z. Try that one again. So you can create your kind of spotted effect. You can um, definitely play around with this. It's very an abstract type pattern. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my pattern preview mode here for a moment. Next, we are going to create a brush of our own. So I'm going to actually create a new document. We're going to go file new. We're going to do something a little bit smaller. Let's go a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels. We'll set it to our 300 pixels per inch. And then just using that brush tool here, let's go ahead and bring that size down. I'm just going to create just some random circles here. We'll go left bracket to make it smaller maybe we'll go a little bit bigger here okay so we just have a couple of random circles here and then i'm just going to highlight this command or control click i'm going to go to edit define brush preset so you can give your brush a name i'm just going to label it here okay and then clicking on ok We'll have, go ahead and turn off that layer. We'll deselect those pixels, pixels. Command or Control D. We have our brush tool here. I'm just going to go to the top menu here, and then we are going to make sure that brush is selected. We'll create a new layer so we can draw. Let's bring down our brush size, and then we can see how it draws here. And I'm going to change a setting. So let's go ahead and bring out our brush settings. So we'll click on brush settings here. I'm going to move it here. Let's go ahead and just close this group here. So we have our brush settings here. Under our brush tip shape here, under the spacing, I'm going to bring the spacing down so we don't get any of that weird um, divided uh, circles there. Okay, so now we have our brush set to uh, what I want it. We'll jump back into this document here. We'll zoom in a little bit. Let's turn on that pattern preview mode again. We'll go to view pattern preview. We can see our repeating shape. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to create it, bring it below. And then I'm going to pick a color. I've got some pre-made colors here that I'm going to select from, but you can certainly use any colors uh, that you want. Um, let's go ahead and try a pink colors here. 
So we'll make our brush size here. And then I'm just gonna start drawing some random strokes here. We'll select a new color here. And then let's actually go ahead and give our background layer a color white. I have a white set as my background color. So I can use the keyboard shortcut for Mac, that would be Command Delete. For uh, Windows, that would be, I believe, Control Backspace. And so we have that background layer filled in. And so we can keep playing with our colors here. Maybe we pick another lighter pink. So you can just create this fun, abstract kind of background that is behind our um, kind of our spotted layer. And then you can just keep playing with this until you get it to be a consistency or a color mix that you like. And then when you wanna save this, you just jump back into your patterns panel. Just hit this plus icon to save your pattern. You can give your pattern a name. Go animal print here. And then we can see it's saved in our swatches panel here. And you could always turn off the visibility of those layers and just save your um, spots here on their own. Just as easily you could save this kind of abstract pattern here as well if you'd like. We'll turn that spot layer back on and then let's try another color scheme here. This time I'm going to go with the blues. I'm going to select my color. Maybe go a little smaller. And then we'll drag. We'll undo that command and control Z. Create a new layer below. And then just start drawing um, random strokes again here. You can pick another color. Maybe a darker one. I'll undo those ones. They look a little bit. Let's go ahead a little bit bigger with my brush here. Bring in our light color, and then you just can play with it. Tell you get it to be that color consistency you want. So this is just a fun way um, to combine our spot pattern, but we make it a little bit abstract by creating this kind of colored abstract background. We can save it again here. You go ahead and turn off our pattern preview mode here. And then we'll just turn off these layers and then I will select our pattern. We'll double click and then let's just see how it looks. For smaller scale here, we can kind of see it on our um, document scaled down so we can see the repeats. And it's just kind of fun um, to see the pattern here. We have our spots on their own. We have our... Um, abstract pink here, uh, but this is just kind of a fun uh, pattern that you can create in Photoshop. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.